you are just living the dream, eh? Look at this beautiful day. How's it going, guys? What's going on? Mark Freeman 408. Uh, oh, I think it's been smashed. Are yeah. You, uh, did someone hit her with the Mercedes? It's a beat I just up. picked that up. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit notifications. We do eight videos a week, so we're always making a ton of new content and always coming up with some crazy stuff. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, we have like 1,500 videos now, or almost 1,600 actually. Jeez. I keep saying 1,500. I checked the other day. It's a celebration. It's a celebration, bitches. Celebrate good times. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, we had a demolition derby the other day, and now it's time to clean up that mess and get some new cars so this morning we got the mercedes all loaded up we're gonna take it back first then head back down to the track with the tractor try and rip some more cats off it was pretty epic fail last night we only got one off but i think we can do better today it was the end of the day we were tired we didn't care but today is today is the day justin today is the day today it's is going the day. down it's going down i'm yelling tinder all right, let's, uh, let's head to the scrap yard. Let's see, let's see, what can, uh, let's see what we can do there. Fade to fork. Fade to fork. <laughs> I feel like I'm here every day. This is my home now. Get used to it. Oh, a little lighter than yesterday. 10 9. <laughs> Back in the yard. Time to get rid of the old, uh, Mercedes here. We hit a we hit a squirrel, so took a bit of a dinger off the front, but oh, yeah. later. It was a good car. Time to throw it in the pile. I forgot what I was gonna say now. Something about cool story. Mark choked on the bubble. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Something in my throat. Anyways, we're just headed back from the scrapyard for the first time today. We got a couple trips today. We took the Mercedes back. We got 276 for it, plus whatever we get for the cat, we take that to a different yard. Um, is that the cash money there? That's cash money. Is that clean money? Is that what clean money looks like? Uh, it's not really clean. Well, yeah. well, it is brown. We'll wash it a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so we'll probably take that Pontiac back next. We got the tractor down the track, start ripping cats off. Are we going to do better at ripping cats off today, Justin? I don't want to call it. I really don't want to call it. <laughs> we'll see what I can do. Oh, but yeah, should be a good day. Let's keep rolling. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Back at her again. Down the old compound here. It's definitely a beautiful day. It's going to be a hot one today, that's for sure. Woo! Bumpy. Yeah, we'll see if we can uh, get this BMW started and try and rip off some cats and come back to the scrapyard. That Pontiac gave up on us. Right after we did a tiny little burn it with it, and then she just made a loud noise and quit. So she didn't last too long, so we'll take that back. And we'll just try and take everything back today. Maybe do the tire jump. See you this time. The old dick slayer. Think she'll start? This truck has boosted more cars than most trucks will do in its entire life. Make sure you hold it wide open. Dick Slayer will never die. Now remember, don't stall it. You wanna hug me? You're a little dusty in here, eh? Yeah, a little dusty. You're a little dusty, eh? What's up with the window? Is it burnt? Eh? Is it burnt? I think it's just damp. It's not wiping. <laughs> That's the inside. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're gonna rip this thing off today. I don't care what you think, Justin. It's coming off. If you can figure out where to hook it to. Oh yeah, the old bumper trick will do. It's pretty heavy duty bumper on that thing. Oh yeah, I'm getting all the Kijiji responses right now. 
Why you don't put on a fresh shirt? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's give her a go. Well, that I have a rear bumper us. Uh, the rear bumper's leaking. <laughs> uh, I put the bucket in front of the minivan and he took off and just ripped her right off, eh? Well, he said didn't break. I think we should let this one go. If you love it, let it go. No, no. no. If you love it, beat the living life out of it. <laughs> I only got this thing for like 200 bucks. So. But Let's go try the Pontiac. I feel like it's weaker. This thing's too strong. Just flip it right over. It's ride or die. Put it on its roof and we'll bring it back on its roof. <laughs> Uh, let's go get a plan, yeah. Of course we weren't filming that. <laughs> but after the 40th try, it finally came off. I say that's about, I don't know, 20 pounder. Is that worth it? Was it worth it? Hopefully. This flex pipe did not want to let go. So we parked the beamer behind it. As you can see, it flung out, smashed the window out of this thing, and it ripped off. Oh I my God. We just needed to be level with it so it pulled directly out. Yeah. <laughs> when at first when the glass went everywhere, I'm like, I thought it was a tractor glass. I'm like, did it hit me? Huh? It is cracking. It's that uh, fresh bacon glass in the morning. Oh yeah. yeah. Fresh bacon. Can you hear it? Snap crackle pop. Anyways, beauty. Alright, let's get this thing loaded up. Okay. I'm happy. Hey, high fives. Oh. High fives. I almost didn't want it. I thought I should probably film this, but if I film it, it's not going to happen. Yeah, so exactly. Go. Anytime we film something, it doesn't work. So we've decided on to only to film half the things now because as soon as the camera goes on, everything either breaks or doesn't work. So I'm not superstitious, but just how things go down here, it's starting to like slowly convert my mind. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing loaded up. There's pushing cars and loading cars. All the cars. Here we go. Round two of the day at the old scrap yard. We're a little heavier now with the uh, the old minivan and there. Drum roll. Oh, 12. 1208. 1208. I ate some extra nuggets at the house before coming over. <laughs> You're gonna jump out before we go over the scale. There we go. <laughs> there we go. to the cemetery. We're over in the pile. What do you think, Justin? Ah. Missed the Mercedes already. Look at that. Poor girl just sitting there with her new friend, the rider die. Alright, on to the next. Together. Yeah. They can rot in hell. Yeah. <laughs> on to the next. Just doing round trips today, eh Justin? Nothing but miles. Nothing but miles on miles. We need some frickin' rain, look at this. Or we need to hook up a massive pump from the river. But then we get more weeds growing, so. Um, yeah, we're just clipping along here, back of the house, we just got some gas for the truck, cause she's burning fuel, that's for sure. So we're gonna just boost the Beamer again and either rip the cat off the Pontiac or that Oldsmobile, if there's even a cat on it. Did they even make cats back then? On those things? I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have a look at it. Take a peek or two, eh, Justin? Yeah, I'll take a look, see? Yeah, let's fire this. Let's fire the old cat ripper back up. Yeah. Sure. Another one down, if that's even a cat. Is that a cat, Justin? What do you think? Did they put cats on these old cars? I don't think they did, but you know what? You never know. If it's not, then there whatever. There was a sensor down below. I think I made fun of calling it. This thing is a boat. We'll take her back to the scrap yard. I'm sure we'll get a bit for it. If we can even get it loaded. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the hood on this thing. It's ridiculous. Got lots of spray paint. Alright, let's load her up. Ah, well, we almost had it for about five seconds. We were on top of the world. We're getting there. Got everything uh, pretty well cleaned up down there. Cleaned up some of the strap parts and bumpers and headlights and blinker fluid and all the fun stuff. It is dusty down here. This thing 
is a brewery. Everything is just mangled. It's chaos. Round three at the scrapyard. All right, Justin's bet is 13.5. My bet is 13. This thing is gonna be heavy. It's probably gonna be like zero. We have a boat. Oh, oh we're almost good. 12. Almost 12, 11.9. We were close. Time for the old girl to get in the pile. Off to the cemetery. Oh, lift up that tailgate. Justin. car we took back I'm glad we got that got rid of that thing because it was a freaking boat and it was a mess so no pieces flew off it on the highway thank god but uh, yeah we're gonna head back we're gonna load up that um, that Pontiac and then have lunch and then some guy apparently is taking us out in his Viper so we're gonna make a separate video on that and then come back maybe get rid of the Pontiac do some other stuff rip the Beamer lock that video up then do a Maverick video. <laughs> it's just a never ending circle. So it's a busy day. Yeah, it's a busy day. You know, we've, we've done well. We got three cars taken back and what, three cats taken off. Yep. And what time were we out there? 7.30 or so, so. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, yeah we're doing well, so. Just a vicious circle. Let's carry on. Let's so carry on. Carry on. Last car of the day, the old Pontiac. I was hoping to do a lot more with it, but unfortunately not. Hey, do you want to push it back onto the trail? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Do it yourself, cat removal, eh? Look at us, the old pros. We've done more cats the last couple weeks than most people probably do in their entire lives, because I've never done it before, so. We got her cut, put a chain around it, Let's cut it right there. Hey, should we eh? give her a yank, pull we'll it off? We'll give her a quick tug. Yeah, let's tug her. Tug her off. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Take two. Classic cat move. Is it attached? Part of it. <laughs> that sounds done. Well, we only got one of them. Uh oh. We need the other one's the important one. That's the one we didn't want. That's the one we didn't want. All right. Is this even a cat? Oh yeah. Okay. So there is two on here. Apparently there's two on here. I didn't know that. Well, should we go for the other one? I guess we go for the other one. Let's go for the other one. Okay. Cats are stubborn. I'll give them that. Pontiac for a walk. And attempt number three. Huh. I think we just broke the strap. That's not cool. That is not cool at all. Jeez. Ripped everything off under there.
I guess this cat's staying here. I guess so. Rip the whole end off. Did your clevis stay on at least? I don't know. Well, yeah, it's probably in there somewhere. I'm gonna go have lunch, I'm over it. Alright. Yeah, just that pipe right there that's holding it on. So maybe if we just wrap around there, we'll be able to do something. Shift number four at the scrapyard today. Last shift. We're not coming here anymore today. We're over it. What do we got? 10 8. She's gonna get tired of us here. Picked up uh, this weapon and it's straight piped. Just how we like it. Always label out. Label out. We're in Stratfordville. This is actually where I get my my suspension done on my dirt bike uh, MP1. So let's head back to the track and uh, it's teeter totter time. Teeter totter. Teeter totter. And then we'll wrap. wash this truck sometime before tomorrow morning. Yeah. Or hit one on the way out. Yeah, whatever. We'll figure it out. Figure it out. Old Pinky. Yeah, All right. That's just an unusual sight to see, you know, vehicles apart. <laughs> I feel like we have just been driving all day. We basically have. It's 640 now. We've gone to the scrapyard four times today. Uh, came back four times, picked up all the cars. Then we went to... Where'd we go? We've been everywhere. We've been... I don't know. We've been everywhere. We went to the Harbor store. We haven't went to, been to Toronto yet. We haven't been to Toronto yet, but we went to Stratfordville for that car. So that was a nice two hour trek. So, and the guy said he has a minivan for us in two weeks. So perfect. We'll have a minivan. He wanted the cat off it, which is understandable. So now we have a straight piped, I think that's an Impala or Malibu. I don't know. Don't know. Don't care. I thought you left um, the in it when I tracked this car. I didn't remember there's no battery. <laughs> should I should I tell the the viewers your idea? Sure. So we've had a lot of time together today, me and Justin. We've had a lot of bonding time, and we're trying to figure out what to do with this track. Obviously, I know it's overgrown right now, but I wanna I wanna do something to it. So I'm gonna bring in a dozer uh, in August. Uh, the next few weeks are packed. I don't even have time to do anything down here. You know, jump the odd car here and there, but so we're gonna bring in a dozer. And you guys all know the car jump right now is right here. The big doubles right here. This is a jump if you guys don't know that for dirt bikes. So basically we're thinking redo the whole track, you know, freshen stuff up, move jumps around, blah, blah, blah. But the car jump. So we start the cars up there. They come down the hill. There's a little dip there that collects water. And then they jump and they usually land in around this area. But we're thinking move the jump all the way over to here so it's actually a part of the landing on this jump and then that gives them an extra you know 70 80 feet to collect more speed and jump farther and then they would just jump off and basically go straight to heaven and then the whoop section i would just shave off the end 
and maybe push it up the hill and do some different stuff over here. So let me know what you guys think. I think it'd be cool as hell. Like we've done tons of car, or we've done tons of car jumps with this jump. And I think it's time to change it again, make it bigger, make it better. You know, we, I feel like we've done everything and I want to make it, I want to change it, right? You know, things get repetitive and it's like, okay, cool. Another car jump. I think it's a new year. It's not time to do something bigger and better. So we're getting tons of cars coming in left, right, and center. So it actually looks weird here with only four cars now or four or five. So much room for activity. So let me know what you guys think. And then in the next month, I'll bring the dozer and just start changing everything again. It's time to revamp stuff. So anyways, we're going to take this uh, Impala off from Malibu, whatever the hell it is. We're going to do a quick, quick toot. Then, uh, yeah, I'll do a little burnout with it. That's, that's like the thing now. It's tradition. As soon as we get off the trailer, do a big burnout. Hopefully it doesn't grenade. I tried locking up, or I tried dampening it down here with my PE. It didn't work well. Uh, but, uh, yeah, should we try the teeter-totter or save that for another video? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Okay. When we go back to get the minivan, we'll have to bring his wrench back for him. Oh, <laughs> left the wrench? That's hilarious. Cool. All right, let's get this thing off the trailer and then we'll, uh, we'll just do a burnout with it. Wrap her up for today. Wrap it up. Okay. Down at the track, we just picked up this new Malibu. Freeman is up at the house, somewhere in there. Editing a video and posting who knows what. Anyway, so I am going to unstrap this and get it off the trailer and got a battery from here, put in a Subaru over there so I can boost this and we can move that and that. It's, it's like dominoes. You gotta do one thing if you wanna do something else. So here we go. <laughs> Always choosing the hard way. You know yeah. the door opens. How did I do that so smoothly? <laughs> there we go. Uh. This thing is loud. It's gonna be dusty. Don't don't uh, don't drive too fast. Eh, we got a little breeze down here. Remember, R for race. <laughs> don't grenade this one. Make it make it last longer than eight seconds today. <laughs> oh man, the fun we have down here with cars. Back, back right up to it. I want to see what it, see what, uh, see what's going on here. Oh yeah. You want to try it? I'll try it. Time lapse. We'll turn it off later. I think you're gonna have to hit it decently hard.
Right there, yeah. Steer, you gotta steer left. <laughs> Put your window down. You gotta steer left because you keep pulling off the right side here. Don't go. Same spot. I don't know. <laughs> now just. To today I do have a little crack in it too so look how dusty it is so much track time yeah we uh we've been jumping it too much and it cracked it. Well, luckily I know a lot of people with welders so we can just throw a tack on there you think they'd weld this whole thing not just a couple tacks but yeah oh aluminum ready to uh I feel like we're not even washing it we're just blowing off the dust Hello, action. If anyone needs a trailer, go to action. All right, let's wash this girl off. I was like, what is this circle up there? And then I remembered you put your suction cup up there. You and your suction cup. I never know what you're suctioning to. Suction or cupping. Every... What? No. What are you suctioning cupping? That, that's not a thing. That is a thing. It is a thing now. Yeah. All the things. All right, I'm going to get the pressure washer out and let's wash her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the old girl hasn't had a wash in a while. I'm gonna get the brush out, start scrubbing it down. Oh, she's gonna look fresh. And then I'm not gonna drive it down the track for at least two days. So we gotta head to Muskoka in the morning. We're gonna, uh, we're meeting up with Ralph Sauce. We're uh, going wakeboarding, surfing, and flyboarding or whatever it's called. I've never done that before, but I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited. And, uh, yeah, then we're doing a cooking show, hitting the key to Bala, then going to Gopher Dunes, then Rock the Park. I don't like to sleep much. You know, when you get famous, you gotta do everything. No sleep for the wreck, or no rest for the wicked. Oh, hey, Blue. How's it going? Dropping her down. Clean. Look, a freezy. I haven't had a freeze in a while. Justin, you've done a fantastic job. Well, 
thank you. So we're going up to Muskoka tomorrow, so we wanted to get everything cleaned up. You can clean the helmets, so. Now we're gonna head to St. Thomas, pick up another car. Because we're not gonna be home till like 10 or 11. This is why you always carry $10,000 cash on you. This is why you always carry $10,000 cash on you, apparently. So it's all for YouTube, all for you guys. Anyways, thank you guys for enjoying the video. I need to go shower and clean up. And uh, yeah, hot air balloon's still over there. You can kind of see him. Anyways, check out the links below, subscribe, leave a nice comment, and have a fantastic night. We'll see you guys later.